everyone. Today I have a very interesting guest, Asya. She is a transformational coach and today we will talk about our mindset, how to create a completely new life, how to change your mindset, how to leave your dreams and what to do, what kind of technique can help you to do all this stuff. So I'm waiting for Asya. Yeah, and uh, I have to wait a little bit because I don't want to tell her story. Ah, oh, yeah, hi, you're here. <clears throat> so, yesterday, everything. Yay, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Very good that uh, finally everything works, so we can start our conversation. My first question, first of all, thank you very much uh, for joining me. Thank you very much for finding the time. Hello, hello, everyone. And um, yeah, I don't want to tell um, for you your own way. Could you shortly tell us how actually did you uh, come up being a transformational coach? Sure. First of all, I went on a journey myself to discover who I was the hard way, meaning that, you know, you are told to go to school, you are told to go get a good job, and then finally you'll be happy and, you know, you find the world amazing and everybody will smile at you and you will smile back. And so I went for a, a career, I got a master's degree, I worked as an expat because I'm from France in, the, in China and in the Middle East. And eventually I wasn't fulfilled and I wasn't happy doing my job. I felt that, when am I supposed to be myself? You know, we are all like, mm. I'm in my nine to five, but I, I have the job of my dreams. I'm having my best life and I'm still unfulfilled. Like, why would I be given the chance to really express who I was? Because I felt like I was hired to do A, B, C, D, but at the end of the day, I couldn't really express my views, my style in my job because I worked in marketing, communications and events. So I thought, okay, that's, that's very creative, but I wasn't really happy there. So I just quit everything. I went back home to France to just discover myself. And that's when I realized that the human uh, potential, that the, I love listening to people, I love helping them in their own journey. And I... Uh, decided to go for a certification and here I am today. I've been coaching since 2016, mostly offline, and I've decided to go online uh, and launch my business online. And that's, uh, that's the reason I built the inner CEO because I, I do believe that everything starts from the inside. And thank you for giving me the opportunity uh, today to, uh, to talk about mindset and growth, which I believe is our key when you want to, uh, when you want to change your life. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, exactly. That was my next question. Why exactly the transformational coach? Why do you think that exactly that this uh, transformational way can lead you there where you want to be? Because I think it's, um, I was told when I was in my 20s, you know, I, when I used to live in China, I had a manager and she told me, you know, Asya, you're thinking from the outside in. You need to think from the inside out. And I thought, like, what is she talking to me about? What is this BS? You know, like, I, you know, I, I was such a, like, a go-getter. So for me, like, tangible things, the outside was, like, I, I thought I got it all. Like, I've done my job. And, but I didn't understand that if I wanted to be successful and, and at ease and really love my life, I had to find peace within myself. And that's mm -hmm. what I mean by transformation. It's not that you're go going to be someone else. No, you're going to be more of yourself. And transformation, because it's a bit like a butterfly. It's a process. So you, you, know, you internalize everything. And once you're in peace with that, then you're able to really um, get out and build that external part of yourself, which, means, which could be your job, your business, your communication, and everything takes place very naturally afterwards. So that's what I mean by transformation. So becoming more of yourself. But don't you think that for the, for the most people, it's not that easy to understand that they do need to get 
uh, into this, you know, transformational way. Where to start with the transformation? Because the most people just, you know, have difficult situation. They feel that they're completely unhappy with their life, jobs, blah, blah, blah. But they don't do anything to change it. That's correct. It, and it what might to be do? as simple as buying a Where book. to start? This is the question. Where to a start? Book. A conference, a seminar, a friend that is positive, that is like fulfilled, you know, fulfilled in their lives. It could be someone at the bus station, you know, like when you open, I think the very first step is being open to change because unless you want, it cannot happen. So it, it, this is something that you also, I think when you're ready, you look at things from a different perspective and you're much more open to, like I told you when I, I initially started, it was like, conferences, seminar, conversations, random people telling me, I don't know, complimenting me or telling me about their lives. And I was like, I, that's when I started to notice that I like this type of interaction. So it's really being in sync uh, with that side of yourself. It could be journaling. I'm a big fan of like journaling. So just like notice things about you, you know, where you are, what you like, what, what is the emotion, what is this emotion trying to tell you? Uh, and transformation won't happen overnight. Change can happen pretty quickly, but for you to really integrate this into your life and start building the life that you want, it takes another step and you need to give yourself time, which is something also that, uh, that is important to realize when you want to transform. And I think that when you're ready, that's a quote, like when you're ready, the, mas the master comes or the teacher comes into your life. I think when you're ready, that's when signs come into your life through different forms and shapes. Perhaps this life can change mm -hmm. uh, someone's life today. <laughs> mm -hmm. But still, I think that the first step is uh, fears. Fears. Because you, first of all, you have to change your mindset. You have to allow yourself to be somewhere else, allow yourself, and it starts with fears. And here, I think the most people get stuck. The fear is too big because they don't know how it will work out. They, they're not, they're completely insecure. They are, uh, you know, afraid to leave everything what they have uh, already done or they have some things, I don't know, houses, lives and so on. So everything is so stable, but unhappy. And this fears, how to overcome the fear? This is the first step, I think. Overcome the fear? It's, I don't think you overcome it all at once. You need to realize that it's there for a reason. So really shift your focus, not on the fear, but what is this fear preventing you to do? And mm -hmm. identify this that you would like to do, because if, if this is the fear that you have currently, that means that also there is a counterpart, which is a desire. And how mm -hmm. can you embrace that fear? And make that fear your best friend. And this is an exercise that I like to give also to my uh, clients. Talk to your fear. Like, okay, let this fear come into your room and just like, hey, what's up? Why are you here? What do you want? You know, like, why is it that you're preventing me? And, and really learn to understand what this fear is really about. And I always like to say that, okay, I'll see you on the other side. Like, I will be doing this. And then I'll see you on the other side because it's not about not having no, uh, having no fear at all. No, it's about, okay, you're here. Let me prove you wrong. And then I'll see you on the, the other side because it's all about building mo momentum and uh, keeps challenging ourselves and mm -hmm. accepting that this is part of our lives and, and that they are not real. This just, mm -hmm. They are here constantly. And just to understand that if you need help, reach out for help also to, to help you understand where they come from and, and how you can equip yourself with the tools and the mindset because mindset is also really important. Uh, mm -hmm. when you want to build a, a life that is really authentic and, and challenge yourself to become the, a better version of yourself. Mm -hmm. And I have another question. Okay, um, now I understand about fears, but also I see that other people, um, they do have fears and they kind of, you know, decide, uh, they make a choice that, yes, I have to change my mindset to, to grow, to go through, to really, you know, uh, fulfill myself. But some people think that just... Uh, just, you know, wishing or dreaming about it, it's enough. So they don't really do anything. You should do steps, you have to move. And again, you know, here there are a lot of steps. What if 
it doesn't work? What if, and there are so many what, what if that it really, really stops you of going through what to do, how to make the first step. Even, okay, even if, you know, when you are finally embraced your, your fears and you decided that you want to go through, how to start? Start small. Like you don't have to jump right off a, like a high race building from the get go, but you need to start somewhere. So if you were to ask yourself, what is the less curious thing that you could start with and start from there, because then it, you will build the muscle and it will give you the confidence mm -hmm. to keep on, uh, keep on trying new things. And I think you'll be surprised that after you've done this, and you say, okay, it wasn't that scary. So it's all about momentum. I am a firm believer that you, that you need baby steps. Mm -hmm. Like you, I don't believe in like huge steps, although I mean, some people they can, but if you really have all these uh, what ifs and all these questions, it's really to ask yourself, okay, what can I commit myself to? Because it's also a personal commitment that you need to, to have. And not everybody is, e is equipped or wants to change. So, but if you are called, if you're thinking about it, that means that there is a seed within you. There is a side of you that is uh, willing to express itself. And if you have the courage, because it, of course it takes courage. And I uh, admire that in, in people when they really go and, uh, and do things that amaze, the, amaze yourself. And yeah, start with baby steps. Ask for help. Reach out to people a friend, a coach, an expert. I do believe it's important also to surround yourself with people who have done the thing that you are wishing to do. I mean, if it's public speaking, why don't you surround yourself with people who are experts in public speaking? You know, like get yourself into like a different vibe because if you surround yourself, I think that your tribe is also very important. If you surround with yourself with people who talk negative, who don't, challenge themselves mm -hmm. well don't go after their dreams and yours because i was at that space myself when i was sharing my dreams and my vision they were like yeah yeah of course yeah 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 don't don't aim so high you know i don't want you to be disappointed and i was like why why are you stopping me from even dreaming about it like it's not because you don't see it in me that i cannot see it for myself and it took time and courage for me to 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 leave them behind because mm. i love them i still love them but i needed to love me first and i needed to realize that if i want to to be the vision of you know of who i am a greater version of myself i had to look up and be that person and perhaps i can inspire them to also uh reach higher and 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 bring them mm -hmm. with me and there is a a book uh I think it's called Who Took My Cheese? I don't it's know a, this book. It's mm -hmm. a very, it's a personal development. It's a very short one. I really advise everybody uh, to, to look at this book, Who, uh, Who Took My Cheese? About two uh, mice who are trying, one who is trying to find the cheese and the other one who's like, no, I have enough here. Why would I risk to get lost and, you know, die of starvation? And, and so there is, a, it's, it's very illustrating well what I'm trying to, to convey here. That sometimes mm -hmm. you, you also need to understand that it's a, a journey that you need to face alone and it's all about that very first step again. Mm -hmm. But you know also why I ask these questions because people come to me to my trainings also with the same problems because uh, the transformation in public talking starts inside. Mm -hmm. Because first they have to understand, I always ask, why do you need it actually? Why do you need to speak in public? And people say like, oh yes, because I want to be successful. What does it mean for you? Oh, I want to earn a lot of money. Why? I want to buy a, ho a house, a uh, car and blah, blah, blah. I want to increase the, you know, the quality of my life. Okay, but why? Why all this stuff? Material stuff for what? Yeah, to be happy. And actually, you know, at the end, Happiness is not uh, in, in things. But another thing is also what I, what I see, that when people finally decide to do the first step and start doing, sometimes, mostly times actually, they lose their belief in themselves. Because at the beginning, of course, everything, and not only the beginning, 
the way the you know the obstacles is the way the way on this way there are so many obstacles and people you know cannot keep the belief in their soul what would you say how would you what would you recommend to to believe in yourself working with a coach i mean it's not because i'm a coach that i'm telling you this but i think it's really and it it makes a whole difference to have someone who has done also the transformation, who knows how to guide you, who knows how to support you, who will tell you, like, you've done so many things to reach that level. Because when you want to change, there is this old version of yourself trying to keep you in the safe zone. Mm -hmm. So that's a totally normal situation that at some point, you're questioning all this, if this is, if it's worth it, you feel very comfortable. Why is it that it's like, it feels this way? Why is it that I have to quit some people? Why is it that I have people who don't understand what I'm telling them? You know, so it's a bit of a long, lonely journey. That's why I believe that support and also your tribe building, you know, having a supportive tribe of like-minded people is also key. And when you're facing yourself to really understand your why, and you, you clearly mentioned, you know, you're asking why. I think if it's not, you know, it doesn't come from the heart. If it's not authentic to you, and you don't connect to that why every day, why would you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation? Like, why would, you, why would you put yourself in an uncomfortable situation? Why couldn't you just stay, you know, in your safe place and just have the life that you know? So it's really mm -hmm. important to, to keep this in mind when you want to, to make, to sustain your level of energy, your level of motivation, and to understand that it's also part of of your journey that it's not just about feeling happy all the time that there will be days where you're not feeling it at all and it's okay and that's normal mm. and mm. that's to keep the long long-term vision and build tiny steps along the way mm. but you're working what mostly time with entrepreneurs why did you uh, choose exactly this niche i chose mindsets for yeah because they are the leaders of tomorrow and I'm tired of people who, I mean people in general, who are not happy while working, who are depressed, who are, who got burned out because they have managers and leaders that don't understand what inspiration, you know, how to inspire their staff, how to make them feel good. I think well-being is very important and I really want to make a mm -hmm. difference and I do believe that um, an inspired leader would build a different world. I think that and a different uh, working environment. And if people, if we have happy leaders, inspiring leaders, we have happy employees, not all the time, but at least who knows what is important, the values. And uh, I want to help people who really have a mission, who wants to make a difference. And that's why I want to work with entrepreneurs. I think that they are this... Uh, you know, uh, they have this energy and they can make a difference where they are. We, you know, I, when I say entrepreneurs, I'm talking, could be a self-employed to uh, someone who's like very, uh, very uh, expert and, uh, and lead or has multi, uh, multi um, companies. It's, uh, I'm talking about the fact of like willing to make a difference with your activity. That's what I mean by entrepreneurs. Mm. But uh, what is the mindset? What is, uh, no, how to, should I ask? What's the difference in mindset of entrepreneurs? I think that it's different in the sense that it makes a difference in their business. Because when you're an employee, okay, you might not have, uh, you might not be okay today and there will be, of, of course, consequences. But, but if you're an entrepreneur, it's like, I don't know, 80% of your results come from your mindset. The way you approach your business, the energy that you are uh, giving, the vibe, the who you are meeting, uh, the way you communicate, it makes a whole difference. And mindset plays a crucial role. And the more you grow in, into your business, the more you realize that you have internal uh, self-belief that is blocking your success, that is preventing you from showing up, that is preventing you from being confident, I have a lot of experts that I'm working with as a, in my coaching, and they are really amazing. And they still don't believe that they are, they have everything 
for them to feel very confident in their shoes as, a, as a experts and as business leaders. And I really want to, to help as many as I can to, to make a difference and to build the, 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 um, the mindset, the confidence for them to show up in their business and to run their business like a pro so that they don't give up because often they are very talented and they don't even know about this. And I feel it's such a pity. I want them to shine because there are so many uh, who are not as talented as them, who knows they have the mindset, but not the talent. So I want to help mm -hmm. those who have the, 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 the talent, but still don't you know, need to build the, the right mindset in order to run and, and uh, create the impact that they want in their business. So that's the reason mm -hmm. I've uh, picked But with which, mm -hmm, with which problems the entrepreneurs come to you? Could you, uh, can you um, tell a couple of you know, cases Imposter syndrome, fear of visibility, mm. the fact that they don't necessarily know how to communicate uh, their confidence because they can have confidence in their expertise, but they don't know how to communicate this in a business setting, for mm. example, which is crucial. When you want to convince, you need to, be, to master the skills. And I, I do believe that working with Ekaterina for, for this is a perfect reason. You need to understand what you're really communicating when you, when you talk about your business. You need to make your potential client uh, at ease. You, make, you want them to pick you. And for some reason, for some people, it's really uh, difficult because they're more of an introvert or it's not really, are not really people. Uh, they, don't, they are not really into people. So it's very exercise when you have to market your service or communicate about your service. It's, it's a bit of like a, not the part of their business that they really love the most. So they prefer to do something else and they procrastinate. They don't do things that would really help them advance in their business. And uh, I think that's imposter syndrome, like I said, confidence and fear of visibility are the main three uh, challenges that uh, those I've worked with have faced. And uh, once you go uh, beyond that fear and you learn how to embrace yourself and you learn how to embrace your strength because it's not about uh, being someone you're not. It's really about how can I still be myself and, be, and, and showcase that so that others want to work with me, so that I can promote my business, so that I can uh, have more clients without having to uh, learn or be someone else or, uh, or shiny or I, I'm all about authenticity here. So once you've learned how to master who you are and how to showcase this, you automatically see a shift in your, in your business and in your mindset. Mm -hmm. But what kind of recommendation do you give uh, to people who are afraid of this visibility, especially online? Start small. Like you could just do a video and send it to your friend. But how to do a video? You Most turn on people your are and you see who you're talking to. It could be like if if you were to speak to a friend and I don't know uh, how to uh, how to shoot a video in three steps. You will just and you're sending this to your best friend. You take you press, press record. You forget about the outcome. You just speak naturally and then you send it to your friend and then let your friend tell you if this is like worth posting, which most of the case it is worth posting and that's also something that I use with my clients when they have never done a video before so okay just do a video and send it to me then we'll see I'll see I'll give you uh, tips on how to improve uh, of course I, I do give them tips but most of the time I don't even need to give them tips because they're ready like okay it's ready like accept where you are in your journey of course you you won't be like uh, shooting like as if you were 10 years you had 10 years experience in, in video but if it's worth, if the message and the content is good, go ahead. It's all about that baby steps. Yeah. My experience shows that the most people, 99% of uh, adults uh, are very afraid of uh, doing videos. <laughs> they always say like one, you know, they need like hundreds of shot, uh, shootings or how it's called, you know, trials to, uh, to, to make a video. So they're very afraid of being criticized. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, you know, again, about the belief in yourself, how to increase it. But let's talk about mindset. What are the most important things in terms of mindset uh, to, 
to start, you know, to start your your dream way to go there where you want to be. How? What? What are the most important uh, steps and uh, things your to vision. do? Important vision. It's to to dream big. Mm -hmm. Don't what? Yeah, don't what if? Yourself. Yeah, but what if people don't know what they? You know, the most uh, adults uh, I work with, they don't have a vision. They don't even know what they want. But that's a, that's a starting point. So because you don't know today that you won't know tomorrow, but have you ever asked yourself like, and if they haven't, then you just open the door to just transformation there because now they might just think about it. And when I say like you need to have a vision, this vision will come to you. So it's not that it will automatically come on the spot. Well, that's a starting point just to allow yourself to have that, to ask yourself this question. And then I would say, again, it's... So can I interrupt you for a second? Vision is uh, actually, if I understand correctly, uh, the person should understand where he or she wants to be, right? Yeah. Who do what, you want to become? Where what do you want to do? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then? And then, as I told you, like... It's really connect with that side of yourself who had this vision and mm -hmm. accept where you are in your journey. And once you understand who do you want to become, then ask yourself, what do I need to, to start first if I want to become that person? Is it taking a class? Is it reading a book? Is it going to a conference? You know, like if I were to interview someone who's at the position I am now, because I remember... 10 years ago, I was surrounded by coaches. I didn't know I would, I would become one of them. Because at that time, I didn't allow myself. I was like looking up to them. And I was like always seeing them having like eyes sparking. And uh, I was like admiring the energy. I never really pictured mm -hmm. myself in their shoes until I allowed myself to just be that person. I just realized that I can be that person too. And, and there is no, there is no, how to say, everything happens for a reason. You might be surprised when you look back at your life that you always, the answer has always been there. You were not, perhaps not ready to see it. So it's really about that baby step. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm highlighting this, but it could be like, what do I need to do to become that person? So is it a class? Is it a conference? Is it a book? Is it a person I need to talk to? or even interview on LinkedIn, someone who's doing this specific job or has this specific business, just ask for five minutes of their time and just, you know, get inspired once you have your vision. And then vision, what else? And then embrace the unknown. Surround yourself, the tribe, very important, positive uh, tribe. Keep uh, having goals, I think that you also need your goals. You need big vision, smaller goals, and then you need to keep going. And along the way, you will you will realize that you have new self. You will be more confident, and also you will face different fears, which is normal. It comes together because you've grown. It's a bit like a video game. Once you start the level one, you're able to go to level two, and then you have different types of enemies or like inner enemies that you need to face in order to uh, reach level three and uh, and keep going keep uh, and ask for help i think it's also if i were to give myself an advice 10 years ago i would have advised myself to to get help could be a therapist a coach an expert like i think it will help you also fast forward your results if you're in a rush but i think it's also important that to understand it's a journey it's really a journey there is no five steps to everybody has a story. You have your mm -hmm. own story. Everybody's unique. And what I, would, what I faced and what I would be facing is going to be different from what each and every one of us would face. And uh, to understand that if you've reached that level, that where you are in your journey today, that you are able to keep going and keep inspiring more people. Mm -hmm. But again... How to find your vision? What would you recommend? How do you do it with your clients? Because uh, from my experience, the most people cannot, uh, cannot uh, 
Uh, it's very difficult to find what you want because they're so uh, are used to live somebody's life. They're so, you know, or parents' lives, you know, or whatever. It's so difficult. They just feel that they are completely unhappy what they have today. But how to find what you really want? How to find your mission? You need to... The mission will come to you, but you need to allow yourself to have that vision, to welcome that vision. So it's not something, because most of the people, they are very factual. They want, you know, like a formula or... No, it's allowing yourself to dream. You know, connecting with yourself. What is it that you wanted to do as a kid? Who were you as a kid? Ask your siblings, your parents, like, who are you? Who were you as a kid? For example, when I was a kid, I was a helper. So my mom, she would tell me like, you would go to kindergarten and you would see like this for your old baby crying in your class. And you would just like, don't worry, your mom will come back. You know, like I was like, who, who were you at the, as a kid? Like, and I was uh, also like a storyteller. So I used to gather all my friends and just tell them stories about fantastic worlds and, and just to make them dream. So to really take the time to connect to yourself. And then the vision, once you allow yourself to have the vision, then it will be easy for you, easy, natural, to understand that this is where, who I want to be and where I want to be. And it's, a, it's not something that you would necessarily do from the get-go. It's something that you need to build. For example, if you're working with your client, prior to uh, having like the vision, they will need to take that step where they allow themselves just to connect with who they really are and understand and put words into who they are. Because I believe that that's, at the end of the day, it's all about the essence and who you are. And then you don't pressure yourself. Just start somewhere and then build the, your vision from there. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's all about allow yourself to dream. What the most people, I think, cannot do. <laughs> from they cannot my do uh, yet. experience. They huh? cannot do yet. Yes, it yes, they cannot yes, yes. at all. Yeah, I think that uh, people start moving ahead, start moving in this uh, transformational, into this transformational way only when they feel very bad. So it should be a, a catastrophic situation, something, you know, very bad should happen to switch or to, to you know, to turn on this, this, uh, this way to, you know, to start. But um, yeah, interesting. I think that um, all many people or all the people should do this. And unfortunately, the most people, um, you know, don't want to come out from this comfort zone. They just want to be where they are. To, they choose to be unhappy. By the way, do you know, I recently read an interesting book, maybe you know too. It's called The Choice. The Choice by... Eger, Eger, I, I don't know how it's called, how to pronounce her name in, in, in English. And she is, uh, uh, tells how she survived in Auschwitz. Uh, this, you know, she says like, everything is your choice. Mm. And then um, she moved to America and, uh, you know, got her first degree when she was 50 as a psychologist and she helped. American soldiers, you know, to to think different, to, to, to build this mindset. And the book is called The Choice. So everything is about the choice. What you choose, where you want to be, what you choose, and, you know, it's very interesting, especially for people who uh, get lost a little bit <laughs> or unhappy with their life. I yes. Think. So thank you very much for your time and our very interesting conversations. Maybe, I don't know, um, maybe someone has questions. I don't see any questions yet. Yeah. Okay, Asia, thank you so much for joining me and uh, sharing your knowledge, sharing your experience. And see you soon. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you have for a good having day. me. And I look forward to, uh, to more transformation. Do not hesitate to reach out. Also, if you liked what was said, to reach out to Ekaterina or myself. We are here to support you guys. That's why we are doing this live to, and share these uh, bits and pieces of uh, uh, 
of what we've learned along the way to, to help you. We do believe that it's a choice, as you mentioned, and uh, that you are all equipped to change your life. And it all starts today. Thank yeah. you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.